For many years, hard drives have been the slowest and one of the loudest components of modern computers. Grinding, buzzing, you know the sound. But just because they're loud doesn't mean that they have to be. In this episode, we'll be showing you six ways to silence your hard drives, or at least reduce their noise, and for good. Number one, get rid of your hard drives. This might be obvious, but many people still use mechanical hard drives to install their operating systems on. SSD technology is rapidly advancing and coming down in price, and the speed boost you will gain by using SSD is well worth the price. Even if it means using an SSD for your OS and a hard drive for all of your programs, it will still significantly reduce the hard drive activity and the noise. As Windows is constantly reading really writing to the C drive, which makes that hard drive grinding sound when you're not doing anything. Number two, rubber mounting. Having hard drives screwed into your case with bare metal to metal contact is the absolute worst thing you can do for your noise levels. There are some noise reducing mounting options such as rubber grommets on screws or rubber hard drive mounts which can reduce hard drive noise but personally I found this to be absolutely ineffective at reducing noise even by a fraction. Although they are better than metal hard drive mounts they're not great. Number three Get a new case! Sometimes this is the only option to solve the issue. Many old cases will have crap hard drive mounting options and will just be metal to metal screw on contacts which makes the entire case reverberate with the hard drive vibration. Okay, so I've got a selection of old hard drives here and the loudest of which seems to be this one which is a quantum fireball 8 gigabyte IDE drive so we're going to power this drive up so you can get a listen and so just how loud these things really are okay here we go very loud and that's just the noise of idle which is really nothing compared to the noise it makes when it's really writing okay so I've connected the drive up to my computer and I'm gonna transfer a couple of files <laughs> See if we lift this drive up, it significantly reduces the noise, and basically this is what uh, causes that huge noise coming through your case. When you have a loud hard drive like this, the, the drive just, when it's in contact with the metal on the case, reverberates around the case like a string on a guitar. So we'll keep the drive as isolated from your case as possible. Assuming you still use hard drives. Find a modern case with noise dampening features like plastic hard drive caddies or rails, as this will greatly reduce the case vibrations. You could also get a soundproof case, or soundproof a case yourself. But bear in mind that this will only reduce the higher frequency grinding and ticking sounds coming from the hard drive. If the hard drive is mounted with a bare metal contact, it will not get rid of vibrations. 
Number four, AAM, standing for Automatic Acoustic Management. This is a feature that many modern hard drives have, which allows you to set parameters on the hard drive to reduce noise, albeit in exchange for performance through software. Software such as Crystal Disk Info or WinAAM allows you to change the AAM settings so that you can reduce noise on the hard drive. And I found this to be very, very effective. But I repeat, the noise reduction is in exchange for performance. Number five, replacing your hard drives with newer hard drives. Older hard drives are generally far louder in operation than newer drives, even at the same RPM speed. Old hard drives can be a significant source of noise and replacing them with newer drives can solve this in many cases. Number 6. Move your hard drives to a remote location. If you don't have any hard drives in your computer, you'll never have hard drive noise. You can buy a NAS or a file server, or you can build your own. In my own system, I don't have a single hard drive. I have a single 60 gigabyte SSD with all of my storage on a file server, being accessed by the use of iSCSI and NFS file sharing. Most of the time this will not have an effect on your file transfer speeds. Using a gigabit network line will give you far higher bandwidth than the average hard drive's read and write speeds. So if you are interested in making a file server, you can go here to see our guide. There is also a DIY route, completely isolating the hard drives from the metal case using elastic cord. But it's not exactly for the faint of heart. So click here to see that guide. And we'll see you next time.